shouldn't have to go through. And like, when they get angry, instead of like keeping it to themselves, they wanna like show people that they're angry. So like, they go around bullying people because they're angry because their moms or someone doing something to them. So they just wanna like give that attention to other people so that like they could signal somebody that they're going through something and they need the help, but they don't know if they need it mentally or physically. So that's the last thing. I think the youth in our society is angry because of most of them like they try to outdo each other. Like for example, like the gangs and the bullies and stuff, they try to put themselves above others and belittle people when it shouldn't be like that. We're all like important people in like in the world and in God. So like there shouldn't be like one person that's thinking like they sit high and like, all of us are the same. And I think just like put that in our heads that maybe I want that's the reason. Looking at school all the time, and he always came to school with bruises on him. And I said, "What happened?" And he said, "His mom abuses him, and every and every once in a while, he'll always cry at school. We talked to the counselors; he never really talks; he just always cried. And um, he says that bullies at school was always hitting on him and stuff. And then one day he snapped, and he just ran out of school. And then he couldn't, we couldn't find him nowhere. And then um, they called the police, and everyone." Because they feel like they don't have nobody in their corner. Like, um, when I, was, well, I used to be a bully, and I did it because, uh, like, me and my mama argued a lot. So I, when I would go to school, I would take it out on people. But I people end up coming up to me, talking to me about it. So I feel like if our youth got somebody that they can trust and talk to about their problems, they won't go out and do certain things that lead them to destruction of the elite them the go just to end up doing making bad decisions yeah. okay. angry today because they have a lot of stuff thrown at them like expectations of how they should be like school they have family problems like some of them may 17 18 they gotta raise a kid of their own or they've been raised in a single parent household and they have to take a lot of responsibilities it's hard to handle like all of that coming at you at once but sometimes you just belt, dealt a bad hand, but you gotta make the best of it. You gotta work hard to get out of that bad situation and make the best of your life. It's already angry because they have a lot of responsibilities and have a lot of pressure on them because what people expect them to be and expect of them. Like me, I, had, I was in a situation where in my church I was the oldest youth there, so I got a lot of pressure on me to do a lot of different things. And then I had all these young ones looking up to me and I was trying to handle my own stuff. and. It was like, I'm supposed to be trying to do all this stuff good, and then they all looking up to me and stuff like that, and there was a lot of pressure and then, which drug me with school, me and my mom getting into it, just a whole bunch of different stuff, and then like, you just, you just get mad, and like, get into it with teachers, like somebody like, can say like, like, yeah, before you go to school, and then like, like somebody can say one thing to you, you just flip, and it's like, that's a lot to have on you, and people expecting a lot of you before you even know of it yourself, and you think it's too hard, like, I'm the, youth leader in my church and I thought like they told me I was going to be doing that they like slowly put me into it I'm like I can't do this I'm trying to take care of my own stuff how I'm supposed to help them become what they supposed to be and help them be steady in their faith and I'm like shaky in mind because I'm just like just for the simple fact that I'm going through what I'm going through. It's probably going to be a lot. The youth in the past few generations I feel are very angry due to the way children were brought up by their parents. Some were mentally abused, physically abused, or even sexually and emotionally abused, which leads them to feel hurt and destroyed inside. Abuse doesn't just come from family. It can come from peers, strangers, loved ones. There are also some families who are very strict and their children can hardly go out and do what they want, leading them to become rebellious and defiant. Last but not least, a reason I feel angry sometimes is the fact that I am going a mother and I have to fear what my child will be doing if my child is saved. Where is my child at at that time? Is someone hurting my child? Our society is going downhill with the way people treat others. There's violence, crime, abuse, 
money issues, and worry that fill our world these days. Overall, it is the worry and the problems we face in our everyday lives that lead us to feel angry. I think that the youth in the society are very angry because they don't really have like a real role model in their life or just somebody who's like not actually helping them out in the time of need or something like that. Or they just might be going through something and they just need somebody to talk to. Youth in the community are angry because they, I think they're being bullied and they don't know how to express it, so they, they don't know how to let it out. They don't know how to, um, they just don't know how to let it out. They just, I think they just bully other people, basically. They don't know how to tell anybody.